TSM is still pretty good to try to work against that. And that's the Wardell with first blood at the switch. Wardell right around the corner, taken down through the smoke. And there's that hawk coming out the guiding light to keep them at bay while they guarantee the spike plant. It will be a four on three. There's a little bit of venom on the ground that's preventing Rossi from moving up. That's actually Rossi's own venom on the ground, mind you. Recon Dart gets taken out, but look at how they set this one up. They basically eliminated that other door. I love the setup with that Viper Venom on the ground, but it's not really working out. So maybe even three. A wall bang from a Marshal, a peek from Cat, and it's Wardell again with the first blood. Wardell hitting shot after shot here on the Marshal, trying to spam through. In the meantime, though, the Bros is actually waltzed out onto the A site or B site, excuse me. And again, it was late, but like you said, 10, 10 seconds, seconds they've got to get out and try and get the spike secure. Wardell's popped the ultra knives to come out, but there's... Ooh, they barely get the back up there in time. And they do get the spike down, but it's flank. all going to come down to Wardell. Wardell's got to time this one nicely. You mentioned the flank, and Sabrosa does chime in finally. And again, Wardell has the knives out, but it's a rifle versus those knives at full buy coming in so it wouldn't be the worst round to do that there's the seekers coming out to give away positions ace is going to go for the peak there's backup from wardell look at the molly damage coming out as chemicals makes it look easy getting the double wardell is there with the follow-up shot ups trying to do what he can over in b but some bro gate from garden but they haven't been able to get out just yet now the smoke fades but it's going to come down to a 1v1 it's rossi who's low on hp against wardell oh, who knows he has to go to the sidearm there's the smokes coming out the fly through with the classic got a little scary there as the star gets dropped on short timing will be of the essence and there's the pull through Huge. but it's just easy peasy for rossi on the other side still inside the ult over on a it's down to a three on five. Numbers very much in favor of Immortals who are looking to win their first round. Wardell finally used the knives, but it's a little bit too late. We're down to a very low end on clock. And it was questionable at that. A flawless one actually comes out. There's the Hunter's Fury to try to clear things out. But no, Hayes doesn't use the ult. And that is it. incredibly detrimental. He only, he only got it after dying there. He was still uh, one orb away. Oh, you know what? I'm looking up. I'm looking at the wrong side. I'm brain dead. <laughs> all I good, really all am good. an iron cast. All good. All good. Uh, Chemicals was the one with the alt. I was just looking at both sides. Excuse me. Rossi lining things up. Hazed by that Astro utility. Not that it made too much of a difference. There's that smoke on long. Nice shot onto the Leer. Strange as that is to say. But yeah, look at this flank on short. It's all going to come down to timing. Drone. Does get spotted out, has to fight against now both players who are facing that direction. Wardell just has to wait for the smoke to fade, but it's all Wardell. Wardell's got the off miss shot, not where it needs to be. Can't find a follow-up either. Dashes into the wall initially. And given how well Jason Stein can play with a rifle, it's just it does worry me um, when looking at a team like this. But again, right off the bat, he's able to paint access to the site, dash away. I think they're realizing that maybe B is the best course of action. Wardell can't even escape, but they do get the kill, the entry they needed to get onto B, and they will go ahead and secure the spike in that territory. But it's going to be difficult. It's a two on four, and barely so. Drones on 11 HP. That puts all of the pressure on Cutler here, who's sitting on a full boat. Meanwhile, you've got pretty much full HP for everyone other than JC standing on the other side. Yeah, and an Odin too. Recon Dart's about to come out. Oh, it's already been shot out. This is going to be just difficult. They forced out the Cosmic Divide. That could maybe help a bit. So you see the Shot Dart's coming out. And now Cutler spotted. Not going to be winnable at this point. Yeah. I mean, especially with Gangsta on the Odin. Potentially scare them out of that position. It's not the worst idea, given the way that they're currently set up over on B main with the Viper ult. That'll try to push them out of mid. But, here comes the play, as the LMG really opens up. You've got one player left remaining in Wardell. You can't hear much beyond the shots being fireplace for his teammate. Spike's been planted. It's a 5-on-4 in favor of Immortals on the site. TSM, though, still trying to retake. You've got Wardell Heaven currently playing an interesting game as his... Target continues to leap. JC Stani very low on HP. Shot down to 51. JC Stani actually gets a kill through the floor, but it'll fall down to the last remaining player. Mortal backs off 
after securing plant. Spam coming through from Gangsta to just slow down the retake. Everyone coming through from Garden and over towards Spawn. They have to contend with all of the players currently grouped up on Long. The spike was tapped for a moment but had to get pulled off of because of a Nano Swarm that was dropped down. There's the Snake Bite going down on top of the spike as well. Immortals has so much down this round again, and they lost Sabrosa as the first, de first death of that previous round. So those agents I was telling you about that could help on the retakes are not there for that opportunity. Wardell going inside the smoke has to be careful. Oh, that's awkward. The drone just takes the strangest path maneuvering through that smoke. And now Hayes is left alone, tries to hit the shot on the leaping target, does at least get one, but there's the flank coming through from the window. Immortals is looking to close this, this lead does not happen. Recon Dart does give away Drone's position, he's stuck in such a weird position. Cosmic Divide goes down, shot off has popped, Empress as well. They're trying to guarantee the sight take, they've still got to deal with Drone, who's waiting around the corner, up on top of the boxes. Remain. His position is solid! Down. It's a 3k for Drone, make it for- Got that extra utility exactly. down. Exactly. They could easily just pull him in. Not even for he Wardell, but for Sabrosa even. Oh, that's brutal. As soon as he steps into the smoke, it dies. Sabrosa's in a great spot to get at least one. The Hunter's Fury comes out, but the spam is just spot on. Great damage being no. dealt by the Hunter's Fury, but no! JC Stanny stepping up big! Huge And now kill. again, it's TSM who's at reduced power. Two players remaining. At least Hayes catches one on the flank, but the spike will go down and force the fight over on the A site. At least you have a good rifler and drone right now. Two players are low on HP, waiting for Hayes to come up. They're going to double up together towards the doorway and try to retake it, but more as the time continues to take on this spike, the better the positioning is for Immortals on this triple crossfire. So let's see what happens. That sniper <laughs> on the opposite side. Drone and Sabrosa on the only two players for TSM in double digits. 16 and 14 for Drone, 10 and 14 for Sabrosa. Cutler just having a rough one. 2 and 15 current jumping and trying to peek. Nano Swarm will force him to peek. There's Wardell with the backup. Shots coming in on the flank, and the site has fallen apart. It's down to this one player on site, Drone, who tries to charge out and make the hero play, but everything lands in Hayes' lap, and this is what we were talking about. Planted. That ult coming in from Viper is going to be so hard for them. Dazed. But you can see the after effects, leaving both teams a little bit scratched and scuffed. Spike's been planted and it's retake time, but everyone's stuck in similar positions. Mm. Hurtled up behind yellow and moving back over towards long. Now, the wall has been broken and a follow up wall comes through. They do break the wall on the other side, so the opportunity to defuse on that is going to disappear. And that results in a fast play and push in. There's the snake bite kill, something we don't see all that often. And Cutler, who's left alone in the one on five, falls back himself. Shot out the first one in, but his teammate JC Stanny taken out by a pistol. Now we've seen Wardell do great things with the Marshall in these rounds. Even though that last map didn't go great for the Marshall. On the second round for Wardell has been at least a little solid. There's, again, the snake bite going down to try to delay the push. Wardell with the no-scope on the Marshall. Straight to the dome of shot up. The plant still hasn't been guaranteed, but it is a one-on-two with a Marshall, no less. He's got two shots, one for each of them. Can he make this happen? Wardell going to peek from upper. Oh, there's the no-scope follow-up, but again, two bullets. It's definitely paying off. Got Hayes in an advanced position, and it, it, this just feels like a continuation of the last map with the way some of these early round duels have gone. Shot up is feeling it right now, and he's just going to keep on charging. And now Sabros is in a great position. Never mind. You've got a <laughs> flank play coming through, and there was no support for mid, and that's what allows JC Standing to do what JC Standing is doing right now. Drone still can't look back, thinking that there's support coming through from the jet in mid, but it's not there in time. Finally, Wardell shows up, but it's too little, too late. Now it's stuck in the ice. Nice tailwind to get away at least. How many kills can Wardell get on the retreat? Snakebite lands right on top of him and uh, down to 20 HP as Orb comes through as well. Another round for IMT. Sure, they lose. First advantage for Immortals moving into the site when they have nothing left here for TSM unless this hits. Ten seconds left. Spike 
Well, Cutler getting another kill so far. We're looking for the plant. There's no time left. Ashes are pushing forward the counter wall to come up, and they won't get a plant. A thrifty round coming in for TSM just from a crucial kill by taking down the spike here. And it does drop Drone down just a little bit as they start to work their way up. Drone's in position, but no, he was not prepared for that. Thought he had backup from Cutler. Cutler was playing more of an off angle. The landing doesn't come too cleanly for Shot Up, but there's the peak coming out. Back and forth volley. And it is favoring TSM, at least for the time being. Oh, Gangsta no. on the other side of that wall as it breaks. Able to find one more. Now, Sabrosa does have the ult available, so the res will come through. Ooh. Nice shot from Wardell, and they have the three-on-one now. Chemicals, Insight, has to go big. Only has the heal. Ult's been popped. Can't even find the first kill. TSM. Wardell's posted up with the op, and he's looking for a big kill. Oh, he no. misses! Oh, that's so awkward! I think he meant to go the other direction! And he just flies oh, out no. into the site, and you can see it practically on his face when that happens. The spike barely goes down as the wall gets chipped away at the last possible second. So they have the ability to try and go in for the defuse, and they've already stuck it. They're not really being able to stop this one at all. Yeah, it's just not much that can be done here. Um, team in a great position too. It's all going to come down to time. Which angle is oh, going to watch? Him. Not the right one. He he was pivoting left. between both the, uh, up top and down low, and in that time just gets caught looking the wrong way. Great shot coming up from JC Stanny. Cutler has to move positions. He was up on top of the boxes, so the spike will be planted here in just a moment. Again, the knives come out. This time Wardell won't oh, be bested. Oh, oh no! The ult gets canceled, and so does the spike. The round falls up. Got off to a 5-0, and then IMT woke up and just oh. charged through. Now, JC Stanny catches Cutler looking in the wrong direction. A weird setup on the site that results in site control going the direction of IMT. The spike will be planted. This shot from Wardell gives them that opener. He's down low on HP, sitting at 34. Sabrosa is alive, but in a terrible spot to give him the heal. So it's going to come down to this battle over on long. Sabrosa has to self-heal in that instance. So... It will be Wardell forced to work with less HP, trying to make their way out onto the site. You've got Hazed already down on the ground, backside site, looking for information, trying to spot players out. Forgot There's one waiting it. right around the corner. Barrel, though, speaking out, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Dismiss coming in from Shot Up. Alir to follow up as well. Wardell is now the last player standing, and he's kind of stuck on site, realizes it, tries to get out of there, push goes again. for the updraft and the dash. They're going to push and take out the op. And it was on the other side of the wall, has to run all the way around very awkwardly, mind you. Huge. Look at Hayes, though. This is what we were talking about. They weren't prepared for the flank, so Hayes is able to come through. They got one kill on one of the flankers. They didn't anticipate the second. Exactly. So Hayes is in a huge position that takes down two players and really flattens out the hold, and now they're just stuck in such an awkward spot. Hayes has found three kills on the round. It's all up to shot up. The self heal is in, but good luck. Drone holding the corner. And we're back to a tie here, and then they can get the res. So after Chemicals gets this up, he'll go back and he'll res shot up, or potentially even Rossi. But there is that opportunity, and there's the res coming through. That's huge, that could turn the round a little bit, but the spike's oh, being stuck here as there's a wall on the other side. And now they're blind, they can't see anything detained by the Killjoy ult. Top of that to blind everybody on top of the lockdown. And now this round though, Drone's the ones that's trying to push forward, trying to catch them off guard. Now you have Sabrosa against Ping, but Cutler's up there on yellow as well. Huge trades, but still a 2-1-2. Two -two. There's the ult. This time, it actually goes off. Last time, Rossi popped the ult, and he was killed pretty much instantaneously. Now, interestingly enough, despite the fact that the ult was down, Rossi still goes to a more default position, and that is problematic. Cancelled ult coming out from Gangsta, very much wise, given that he was low on HP. Into the A site they go. Bordell nice. with the Frenzy. Nice little two-piece before being taken care of by Chemicals. Wall is up, and the spike is down, and oh, Chemicals had a great idea, but it's actually his teammate who ends up winning the first battle post-plant. It's Rossi. Drone is trying to eyeball this wall, knowing that they might try to jump over it or take the rope up to go over it. So you can see them trying and not quite committing just yet. Finally, the first one comes through. There's Gangsta on the other side. Rossi from distance with a frenzy. And it comes down to actually a one-on-two. Make it a one-on-one. -on -one. Gangsta takes it to halfway. Both players are low, mind you. Hazed on 37. Gangsta on 22. Yeah. The turret is down. 
He's just baiting this one so perfectly, and he didn't get it to half exactly. after all. I frenzy, and he did his job. This round, quick push towards mid. I love this, actually. They stack up towards mid, and they just want to do some damage. Haze is looking for the ace, and he's going to get it. The first ace on the day here for the mainstream. Sure. What, what, what a, uh, a big deal or anything. I think it was a big deal just because they had so many players on that mid side and actually connecting shots, right? So it was definitely right. a doable situation for Immortals. And even speaking about them, they tried to go for an early battle. Again, a JC Stani versus Wardell. But it's going to be JC Stani aiming down the site with that Vandal to get that pick, which is good enough here. I mean, Wardell, I'm pretty sure it was still on that Marshall, if I'm not mistaken, if he picked you one on that run. second round. But let's see what happens. An ult because he's got the ult, but then he gets picked off right away. The lockdown's still gonna go off, and they're gonna be able to take map control, but it's still a five on three. Shot up. No Getting way. great position. The dismiss to get away as well. And there's the final kill coming. Been seeing that in this second map more Ooh. specifically. The first map was a little bit more problematic for him. JC Stanny had uh -oh. popped the ult in response, <laughs> but Wardell is holding the line, preventing that ult from being a bigger problem than it could have potentially been. There's the ult coming out from Gangsta. Shots coming out over the top. There he tries go. to cancel to dodge it, but he can't in time. And Wardell has now found three on the round, systematically picking them apart single-handedly. He's now brought it down to two. It's Chemicals and Rossi. Now Rossi's been dropped by Drone. And the last player remaining is Chemicals. And with Chemicals holding it off, he's oh, trying to get away. Not going to happen. Wardell has had that. They try to stop the plant there as Rossi throws down the snake bite, but it doesn't get there in time, and that allows TSM to get the plant off. Rossi is low on HP as the leaping target he was aiming for does escape, and now it's post-plant time for TSM. A five-on-five, five, but damage has been dealt to several players, and they have to pick and choose which one's going to get the heal, and it won't be Jason Stanny this time around. He's sitting on 45 HP, and the kills are starting to pile up for TSM. Again, there's the peak from Wardell, swinging out wide, and the decision is being made. It's time to escape, they can't. but you can't even get away. You've got players already on the flank holding it down, preventing that from even being possible. Good luck, Gangsta. He's going to try and hold on to his rifle as long as he can. He's got the best HP power on the A site currently. There's only one playing over towards the B site, and again, Wardell has JC Stanny's number. And that's happened so many times throughout this series, whether he's had an op or a rifle, it seems like he's just got that one dialed in. Even though JC Sani's playing all right, he's not playing poorly, it's just when it comes to the one-on-one, -on -one, it seems to go that direction pretty frequently. The last remaining player is Gangsta, the only player who came into this round with anything. Yep. And he's one HP away from where he was at at the end of the last round. Sabrosa goes up the rope. <laughs> Attackers, you still have 9k out of that one. And I like the fake for the ult you saw from Hayes. And that could have been a crucial kill that he could have had there against Rossi. Again, that's what I'm talking about. If you have that little gap going on because you want to focus on a spray for mid instead and you want to defend, well, that little gap could be taken advantage of. It would have been such a different round on that two versus two, potentially, if Wardell actually connected a headshot uh, onto chemicals through that radiantite box at that B site. Because of that, the perfect bait and switch, if not a res would have never happened, it would have been Wardell and Drone with utility on a pulse plant uh, to try to win that one. But good on chemicals to take the advantage. That will be a deciding factor, is how long can JC Stanny stay alive with that op in position? And will we finally see the kill go his direction? No. Dinks. He's taken down to 10 HP. He's so low on health. Desperately looking for a heal, sitting at 10 HP. An oh awkward my. fight on site as Shot Up just dismisses directly in front of a target and now goes for the ult. This is a bold play. Oh. You'll love to see it, but Drone's already top two and it's come down to now just two as it's now just Rossi. The they can't quite get a line of sight to what they needed, so that ends up backfiring just a bit. But Chemicals is here hitting shot after shot. That's two kills for Chemicals and that gives the team the advantage they needed. As Drone goes towards the back side of sight with the Frenzy, there's targets to the right and to the left, holding to the left currently. Oh. The Frenzy just gets out of control and it allows Gangsta to get into a better position and things are quickly going the direction Destroyed. of IMT. The uh -huh. <laughs> Flash tries to go out and go out Guiding Light, but it's killed immediately and Sabros is spamming away, looking for an opening. Nice shot, but not really going to matter. It's the rest is they're just running all the way over towards Elbow. An interesting decision that's put the spike inside Elbow. But what do they do with this one? They're going to have to oh. fight in multiple directions. I'm spike trying to figure beat. out what the eventual play was there. But maybe on Broza suffering a brunt of the damage over in showers down to 13 HP. Didn't even see anybody yet.
and he's low on HP. Shop's around the corner. Shop's got a great Five shot with the Sheriff, but the bonus isn't working out so well for IMT here. Again, very low HP for Sabroza. There's at least no potential there, but they're going to have to get past the rest of the team, and Sabroza's really just there. Lining up flashes for support, but there, there's the shot right to the leg of Sabroza. It's all it takes. But Sabroza's already at the point. Sabroza has had a rough go of it in showers thus far. This time, backup is there, and Cutler is actually the one who suffers a brunt of the damage, so the heal can come through. Bringing Cutler back up to full HP. Trail players are popped. The dog's going to go out, and oh, that puts that player in an awkward oh! position, but still shot through the corner of the wall, but it doesn't do that much damage. Actually, it doesn't even fully rip his armor away. Definitely going to be disappointing when the damage report comes out. Chemical's the last player standing, just eating flashes. Here comes another one in a minute. Yep. It actually flies into the wall, so it doesn't really do too much. First half. There's the Seeker's ult popped by Sabroza to give away the position. Shot up whose top APC has to be careful. And now they're going to start moving their way in. Falling off, switching to the rocket, falling back up. Can't quite connect. Wardell was there with the op. In the meantime, there was a kill coming out as well on the Hunter's Fury. You've got JC Danny in position. Oh, it's so awkward. He runs out of ammo. Wardell just jumping around to dodge the damage that was impending pretty good here on this half by versus Immortals. Look how fast it is for the site. Oh! Down, the fast play is backfiring just a bit as chemicals from Hookah. Gets a couple of quick kills on the Sheriff. And there's backup as, as well in Hookah. It's going to be their Sage. So Rossi able to help out with some heal. Nice flash coming out from Sabroza to try and keep them at bay towards spawn. But he gets pulled in with the gravity <laughs> well, and he's trying oh, so no hard! Way. But the Boombot and the Sheriff combine, and now the spike is down, and they're really not in a territory where they can do much about this. That's a rifle pickup as well for Shut Up, who's camera. now sitting back sight in such a dangerous position. The camera gives away position. Killed actually by Shut Up on the other side. That's There's a bot, bot down yeah. as well, so that'll give away his position if he pushes onto the other side. The spike will go down, and it will be a 5 on 4, but with the Cosmic Divide up, it's going to make things a little bit more uncomfortable here for IMT. Yeah, and uh, there's no ultimates right now for the Pulse Plan. They have to try to set things up. They're going to have to play close here towards the U-shaped hallway, and it works at least for Cutler for first blood on that 5 versus 4 retake attempt of Immortals. Cutler waiting around the corner. There's the Reds coming out as well. Things are starting to turn in favor of the opposition. Wardell, first shot right on the money. Has Tailwind and the ability to get away. If he can hit this next shot, no! He accidentally Tailwinds into the wall. Tripwire taken out by a Trailblazer. Nice shot from Wardell onto Chemicals. And there's a follow-up. JC Stani just caught reloading, standing in the open. Wasn't anticipating that play. Shot up's in the corner, and Wardell says, Hey, I didn't win that last clutch. Watch what I can do instead. A 4K on the round as Wardell's looking for the ace. He has seen one before. Still a solid round from Wardell. Nice shock darts coming. It's the kill, and we have an early cosmic divide actually on the defense. Interesting right now. There's the Seekers coming out. There's the uh, Cosmic Divide as well. But wow. the Boombot gets a kill, as does Hunter's Fury. Everything is piling up in favor of IMT. The last remaining player is spotted out inside. Towards A, it's really going to come down to Wardell. No surprise there. Who's got the knives out? Will Wardell be able to open up the site like he did in the previous round with the off? Dashes into position. There's no one top corner. Looking for the players on site. Drone gets the first opener, but Chemicals still in position from this spot. There's the rocket right on the money. Wardell's ult's been canceled. Ten seconds left. They're trying to get out onto B, though. Hayes was able to lurk out, and in the meantime, they were able to get that spike over and across. They do give away the positions with the Neural Theft, and it all comes down now to Sabroza, who's got nowhere to go other than this position. He's over towards Octagon. It's going to be difficult. He's got one flash left. The Guiding Light doesn't even go around the corner. Actually blinds him more than his opposition. Takes out the pinheaded Chemicals, who had lost his hat, giving him that tiny skull. Typically so hard to shoot, but he aims for the body instead. Doesn't matter. Almost dead. 17 HP left. Obviously can get a heal from Sky. Sky gets into a better position. But they're quickly moving into the site to try to get back on in this retake. You've got Gangsta currently in you. IMT has full control of the site, plus the Sage Wall down. It's going to be difficult for them to do much of anything. They try to use the Shock Tarp to gain space. Flying around the corner, though, the pistol work is spectacular. It's come down to now just Chemicals, who's in showers, and how quickly that one fell apart. It felt like that was promising there for IMT, but TSM says no. We're on this A site. Look how many players 
are over on A currently for TSM. They've only got one player passively playing B. Now, Wardell doesn't quite get the timing right there towards short. Peeks away at the worst possible time. He will hit one shot from backside sight. But the defense has crumbled and it's fallen onto Drone. It is just Drone left alive with the Phantom. The rest of the team didn't really have the greatest hardware coming in as a bonus round. Oh, Ooh, nice shot, dink shot onto Chemicals. Counter dink coming out through the wall a bit. This shock dart's right on the money. So, oh, maybe not. I thought for sure that would have killed him, but it doesn't really hit where it needs to, and Drone's actually surprised himself. He's like, how did that not connect? The chemical survives in that position with 10 HP. It'll be insult to injury if he manages to find the kill here on the drone. And that's because he doesn't know where that second player is. So just because of that, running that clock down allows Immortals to get that last kill. If he knew where that second player was, it could have been a... All drone, recon, darts, nano swarms. Quite a bit. And there's also a gravity well trying to suck them in. Shot up goes flying out there with the ult and catches Cutler on the other side. Wardell with a miss. That's actually not... Characteristic of him across the last couple of maps, we've seen him so fight, and from that, the showstopper, it was still a trade that's good enough. And even then, TSM had the perfect stack. After going for the recon guards and the owl drone, oh, okay, well, not bad here for saving your weapons, or at least attempt to save your weapons, only so bro- Stani win that duel, we've been talking about it. How well has Wardell been doing in that duel when they were playing both his jets? Obviously playing different roles now, but when they were both mopping, it seemed to be the fight going his direction. Verticality is the name of the game for shot up, but it also is the result of his death. You've got three players left standing here okay. on the attacking side, and hold on, make it just one. Gangsta's the only one left remaining, and if he actually connects, it goes a little bit too far. And he's tr starting to keep his head on the swivel, because he knows he could be getting his focus towards long. They do have a player on site. That's Wardell with the op. Playing top cam, and oh, just can't get the second shot off in time. There's the ult coming out as well. Hunter's Fury spotting out players left and right, doing great damage. Sabrosa take, but won't be the case today. That's the wall coming down Cosmic that makes divide. him think someone could be up there. Cosmic divide from the defenders. So this this gives him a chance to be able to push forward, but this wall is going to be like a, a thorn on the side here for Wardell. That oh. ult could be huge, and shot up actually gets on the other side of the wall. No way. They're playing this wall actually to their no. advantage. Look at how well this is working out for them. Everything that should have gone the direction of TSM has now gone the way of IMT. Wardell has to switch to the rifle and go through blind. Shot up! Wardell, so it's a glass cannon with the Vandal, and can they hold it down? Oh, Cutler dies, getting spammed through the smoke. Drone trying to do what he can with the ult and could do significant damage here. Does at least pick up one kill. Wardell still on site. The Seeker is going to come out to give away positions. This is certainly winnable. Wardell's popping off with the rifle. It may not be as trusty off, but he's brought it down to manageable numbers, and it's all on Shot Up. Shot Up allows for two kills, and Shot Up kill noises is coming back. Makes it a one versus one. It's up to Hayes with the Bucky. Oh, he might be playing right into this, though. Hayes is right around. All right. I know that Lothar has been getting a bit of flack from what he was talking about with what you could do on, on Viper's kit. But Wardell dropping down, even though it was an accident, blocking that shock dart against Gangsta was huge right there to actually prevent and allow TSM to actually get map control onto the short side first and going for the two versus one versus Gangsta on the shower side. Went down to the wire, they get the round, Immortals is going to be on a half by with the Sheriffs and the Shields, and you do have TSM in the lead now with the money on top of that too to prevent eventually potentially make this a 12 to 11 where the ultimates are also coming out on the defender side and close to try to bring this to overtime thrown in position not bothered at all by the push direction as good as the eco round we saw from IMT was in that first half, this is... They have a full gun round for Immortals too, but because he used a showstopper on that previous round that hurt Wardell to 15 HP or two rounds ago from Shot Up, you don't have that. You don't have that much an offensive uh, ultimate. Drone wouldn't have been prepared necessarily for that. Now, Drone does not get sucked into the gravity well, but the shock dart's right on the money. It's exactly what they needed. Boom, but a flashes from Sabrosa oh, no. actually end up hitting the wall. It's not looking so good right now for TSM. It's come down to Hayes and Wardell. Five players remain as the B site is porous. And IMT takes advantage of those holes in the defense. 
and it's just falling apart here. The last remaining player, Wardell. What can you really do? Wardell's actually getting hit by pulses as the Hunter's Fury as well. They know where he's at. He's got the op in hand. Who other than